Daniel Krill here with VC Golf, and today I'm going to be comparing two really popular units. Um, I'm going to be comparing the GC Quad with the IXO and just showing you how close that they read and how accurate both units are. Uh, we all know that the GC Quad is super accurate. The pros use it on TV. Uh, golf instructors all over the world use it, um, including myself. I use the GC Quad because it's so portable. Um, I know it's super accurate, it's easy to set up, and I can use it indoors and I can use it outdoors, so it's just nice to have a unit that I can just throw in a backpack and just go out there, uh, whether I'm, I'm playing in competition or I'm teaching um, or whatever it may be, the, the, the GC Quad is very good, but if you're using just a unit indoors um, and you don't need it outdoors, the, the IXO is a very, very good option for you. Um, it mounts up to the ceiling, it's, it's out of the way, um, it, it's... You can have a lefty and a righty, um, and nothing has to be changed. Like the GC Quad, you have to move it from one side to the other. Um, but again, today what I'm going to be doing is just comparing ball data just so that you can see and make a decision for yourself if you're questioning yourself on purchasing one of these units, which one that you might like. Um, but I'm going to just do some wedges and some iron shots today, and uh, we'll start comparing some numbers. So what I'm going to do here is just start out with a chip shot. Um, Again, most people use these uh, for their indoor simulators. If you're not a golf instructor and you're not outdoors, you're just using it for entertainment purposes, maybe to work on your own game. Um, but again, the, the, the IXO integrates pretty much easily with any software out there, uh, like your GS Pro, your E6, your Creative Golf 3D, TGC19. I'm sure there's some others out there, but that's the four that I use. Uh, the, the GC Quad um, likes its own program, FSX Pro, which is, it will be uh, FSX Play here soon uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, but it doesn't integrate as much or as well with other programs. I don't actually use it for any simulator play um, except for SF, um, um, FSX. Uh, but I do use Unicore with all the others because it just works so well. Um, but again, I got a 29 yard shot. So let's just get started here, and I'm going to hit a couple of shots here. So it carried 18 yards on my IXO. It carried 20 yards on my quad, so a difference of 2 yards. Not, not a big difference there. Um, 4,500 spin, 4,900 spin, so a little bit difference. And at the end of the day, it showed offline a half a yard here, it showed offline 0.2 yards there, so again to the left. So we're getting basically the same result. Let's try to hit another one. Hit that one a little bit too soft. That carried 15 yards on my IXO. And it carried 17 yards on the quad. I'm going to check something here. Yeah, 17 yards on the quad, so just to get in a little bit difference there. Um, I'm going to go up to a closer chip really quick because a lot of people talk about um, or complain about their units not reading close-up shots, like really soft shots. The units are not sensitive enough to pick it up. I just want to show you that you're not going to miss any shots with, with either one of these units. I'm just going to barely chip this. You can see I probably only chipped that maybe a yard, two yards. Um, it carried two yards on my IXO, um, and it carried two yards on my GC quad, so very, very similar there. You won't miss a shot, so if you have a little chip shot, it's going to read it on both units. If you have a short putt, it's going to read it on both units. Um, I'm also just going to hit just kind of a little flop shot for you just to show that that loft doesn't really matter either. See how that picked that up? It carried six yards there, uh, roughly seven yards there, and it carried seven yards or eight yards there, so... Again, very, very similar on chip shots. I'm going to jump to the wedge really quick. Pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. All right. Let's get some full shots and see how, this, how these machines read. Good center contact there. It's a good swing. I liked it. There's a little bit of a push draw. So it started out to the right. You can see it started out right 1.3 yards. It started out right 1.8. So a little bit of a difference, but not much. Um, it carried 137 
137. So same carry there. And offline, 1.5 yards on the quad, offline 1.3 yards on the, uh, the IX, IXO. So you can see, literally, these two didn't have much differences at all. You can look at backspin, probably a little bit of a difference, 8,000 versus 8,200. So again, very small percentages there. Showed less spin on both of them. So again, 200 RPMs versus 300 RPMs. So, uh, but again, got very similar results. I'm gonna hit one more with a wedge. Another decent strike. That one went a little left of the target, which is good for us to see. And again, both of them showed left of the target. The IXO showed left, 1.6 yards. I'm left around two and a half yards, so it's off about three feet. Um, so again, there's a difference of three feet. I'm not saying one's off, one's, one's on. It's just a difference of three feet. Uh, it started out, I actually pulled it 0.3 over here, and I hit that one very straight. It's showing actually right 0.1. So again, they both started out basically online. Um, and that could be a calibration issue. Um, I did nudge the uh, GC quad earlier and I didn't recalibrate it, but it is, should be very, very close to on. I don't think it moved. Um, but again, 140 carry, 138 carry. My unit actually says 139 here, and it says uh, 140 on here, so really a difference of only one yard. So it's 138 on the IXO. On the quad itself, it shows 139. I wanted to make that clear. It shows 140 on the software. So again, there's a difference. Uh, between the software and the unit, it could be because I have a setting on here with humidity or temperature or elevation or something. I'm not really sure. But um, again, very, very close reading. So I'm going to go to the 7 iron. So let's see. I'm going to if I can find my 7 iron. There we are. 7 iron. Get my yardages right so we can have a target to hit at. So I've got, I'm hitting the, uh, just if anybody's curious, I'm hitting the Ping I 59s. Uh, I really like them. Uh, I've played outdoors with them three or four times. I, I seem to like them. Uh, very, very good club. Actually, very forgiving. Um, for a blade looking club. So I had that a little off the toe and a little push, but again, as you know, I was talking about they're a little forgiving. They are forgiving. I mean, that's still carry decent. 171 carry shows 173 on the machine. Again, I'm not really sure what the settings, but 171 on my GC quad, on the physical quad. And that's 169.5, which will round up to 170. So it's off one yard, off one yard, uh, or difference of one yard. Um, we're looking 12 yards right on the IXO, 10 and a half yards right on the quad. So we're, we're really close there at the end result. Um, and you can see it's a push 2.9 yards and a push 2.9 yards on the IXO. So again, produced really, really a, a identical shot. Let's see if we can hit a good shot here. So we know what it does on a bad shot. It actually read really, really close. I should hit this club around 180. I pulled that one a little bit, so it's gonna get 180, maybe a little bit more. So it says 181 carry on the screen, but on my unit 179. It says 177, so a difference of two yards. So make sure, I know you can't see my GC quad unit, but it's saying 179, the IXO is 177. Um, we're looking at a left a pull, left 0.2, and it has uh, 0.1 here. So again, uh, very, very close there. And let's see, offline 8.2 yards, offline 5.7, so six yards, so we're off a couple of feet again. Um, but again, it's a little bit of a difference, but at the end of the day, you can see the shot shape is basically identical, um, the carry is basically identical, and the end result is basically identical. So two very, very good results, tight results for two different units. That's all, that's all I want to demonstrate for you guys today.
was it good? So 180 carry there. So 179. I'll, I'll, sorry, I misspoke. This has 180 carry. The GC Quad on the unit shows 180, shows 182. So again, difference between the software and the unit reporting. But the uh, IXO is showing 179, so a difference of one yard there with a 7-iron. Um, 5,400 backspin, uh, backspin 5,000, so a little bit difference there. Left 342, left 324, so very, very close in the shot shape. The end result, side total, is left 3.2. And left 2.8, so three yards. So those are reading. I mean, the end result is exactly the same. If you were playing um, a golf course or something or a game on, like, say, E6, um, your end result would be identical with these two units. So at the end of the day, very, very good. It shows uh, this one started out right. The IXO started out right one degree, and this one started out 1.2, so one degree again. So those read very, very close to each other. So, um, very, very good comparisons with the 7-iron. Let's see how the 5-iron does. If you guys want to check it out. Go to the 5-iron. 200. Go to the 5-iron. And again, Ping I-59. I don't know if you guys have seen those. They're really, really cool. Very, very good clubs. And uh, I'm just doing irons today. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll do woods. Um, you guys just need to comment and see if you guys want a video on, on wood comparisons between the two units. And if you want woods, I'll do some woods. Uh, also, I have a Flight Scope X3. It's a really good unit as well. Um, I primarily use it outdoors when I'm doing fittings. Uh, just because it tracks the ball all the way till it hits the ground, but very, very good unit. All right, let's get back to this. So this was a 5-iron. Carried 199, so 200 yards on the IXO. On the GC Quad, it carried 199, so exactly the same. 199, 199, shows 200 on the unit, so it actually reported really close. So 199 on the unit, 199 on the IXO, 200 um, on the... Um, on the uh, GC quad. So let's see, it started out 0.7 right, it started out 0.2, so again it started out just a hair right of the target. Um, side spin was 23 on the GC quad, we're only four right on the, I, on the IX. So side total 0.8 yards right, and this one says three yards right, so a little bit more right. Um, again, I imagine because it landed on the green and it kept rolling to the right, so this one's just landing in a fairway somewhere, so the, the surface type that the ball's landed on is a little bit different, so that's probably why there's a discrepancy on the side total. But again, very, very accurate between the two, very, very close comparison, so I like it. We'll do one more. Another solid strike, a little bit of a push. 202 carry, that one went pretty good. And 202 carry on the unit, 200 carry on here. So the unit shows 200, the software shows 202, the IXO shows 202. So again, you can say out of all the shots that I have, the max difference in carry has been two yards, which is very, very impressive. Um, two yards at 200 yards is like a 1% difference. So um, very, very, I'm, I mean, if you're looking at tolerances, that's a very, very tight tolerance. So. Hopefully today what I've done is I was able to demonstrate um, the units are very, very close. Um, so no matter which one you decide to buy or you're looking at, you can be confident that the GC Quad is going to read very good or the IXO is going to read very good. Um, it just depends on what your use is and what you need it for is uh, what you've got to decide. If you want a mobile unit, you've got to go with the GC Quad. It's just easy to move around. Um, but if you want something indoors and out of the way that nobody can touch, knock over, hit, like I said uh, earlier, I nudged into this one, and again, because it's on the floor, I just wasn't paying attention. That's why I like the IXO out of the sea one. Um, but again, if you want any more information on this IXO, let me know. I can do other demonstrations. If you want any more on the GC Quad, let me know. I can do more demonstrations. And again, if you guys want to see driver comparisons or three wood comparisons or something like that, please comment and subscribe, and uh, I can post another video. But uh, again, I just want to remind you guys, uh, I paid full price for these units. I don't work with the companies. I don't partner with the companies. I have nothing to do with the companies. 
Um, so this is a non-biased, uh, basically, comparison. I think they're both great units. I use them. I have them. I bought them because I need them uh, for different purposes, and they're both really, really good. Again, I have a FlightScope X3. If you guys are interested with, with in seeing some numbers with that or some comparisons, let me know. But again, thank you for watching and tuning in. Again, please click subscribe and uh, keep watching uh, for, for new content. Thank you.